Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel DS Tech Mirror. Topic for today's video is how to create people picker in Power Apps. In this video, I will show you how we can create people picker in Power Apps because this is a control which is not by default available in Power Apps. So for the demo purpose, I have created two screens working people picker where I will demonstrate you what we are going to develop. And then in the screen people picker demo, we are going to do the hands on. So let me just give you a quick overview of the working people picker. So this is one of the control combo box. So this is the combo box control which I have. And if I go inside it and type any of the username, I know in my tenant there are few test users. So if I type test user, so what it will do, it will suggest me the name from the active directory. So I can select any of the user. This is a multi select people picker. I can go ahead and type another name as well. Let's say I type. I know James is one of the user present in my tenant, so I can select James. If I go ahead and select any name, let me think of a name which is not present. I know David is not present in my tenant, so if you see, even if I press enter, nothing will happen. So this is kind of a people picker which we can create inside Power Apps, and this is the topic for today's video. We will see how you can create it. Now I will go to the another screen where we are going to do the demo. Now over here, what I will do to create this people picker, I will be using the combo box. So first I will insert the combo box in my screen, combo box. Now in this combo box, let me first do a quick alignment. Okay. And now for the items property, we have to search for the user. So whenever I will type any of the username, for example, if I go over here and type anything, it should search for the users. Basically, that is our main motive. So it should search for the user. And how we are going to do that, we are going to use the Office 365 search function. So let's start. For what I'll do, I'll go to the item property and over here I will type Office 365 users dot search user. So this is the uh, formula which we are going to use over here. But please be careful. Now there are two versions of the search user. So we will use the latest one. So I'll go ahead, delete it and I'll say office 365 dot. So we will make use of the version. So this is the latest one over here. If you see this uh, description, first we have to provide this search term. Search term means the search input or whatever the name we will give based on which this function will search for the users in the Azure Active Directory that we will provide from where we will give the search term because we are going to Type the username in this combo box. So what I will say, I'll say combo box name is combo box two. I'll say combo box two dot search text. Combo box two has a property called search text. Combo box two dot search text. And next is there are a few other properties as well. Next, which I am going to use is is search term required. So I'll say is search term required. That is, I'll make it true, and I will explain you what is the use of this property called is search term required. Now. Next, what I will do is I'll remove this parenthesis because this parenthesis uh, is required in the beginning and then I'll try to close it first. Now, I'll do more work on this uh, formula, but before that, let's see. And why we are getting this error because we have forgot to add this property called search term. So let me type this again very quickly just to add, avoid any confusion. So what I'll do, I'll remove everything over here. And now we know we have to add two properties over here. First is the search term. So I'll say search term and search term is combo box two dot search text. And then I need is search term required. I will say false search term is not required and why that I will explain you and the moment I'll close it. You will see what it is returning me. It is returning me a record over here. There are two columns. First is the value and value is the table. So I will use this uh, row called value. And from this, I will get the table. Now let's see. I'll play this app. I'll go ahead and type, try to type anything over here, test user. And I'm not able to type anything. Why? So before uh, we can start using this combo box, we have to enable certain properties after this formula. This formula is pretty simple. But before I started using it, we have to enable this property called allow searching. This is this is a must. We have to enable it. After enabling this allow searching only, we can start working on that. Second step is 
select this combo box and go to this field property edit and from here you will see this layout primary text and search field now my primary text by default is city but what i want my primary text i want is display name i wanted to display name over here and on which field it will do the search it's right now city selected but it should do the search on display name as per your requirement you can select a uh, different field as well because there are different fields like department display name given name mail you will find all these fields in the table uh, which we have selected over here now I, uh, what i will do now primary text is display name what if i wanted to uh, showcase two properties for for that i can choose double from here and in the secondary text what i will do i will select the mail so now i have primary text display name secondary text mail search field display name now what what if i wanted to add one more search field that i can do from the advanced tab if i'll go to the advanced tab under search field this is an array i can put comma and i can another property say mail and now i think my uh, so, uh this people picker should work now i'll go over here and i'll say now let me search for a user i'll say test user and you could see it started giving me the you uh, resort username or we, we should say the actual username which are present in the active directory let me type another username called james and i will get it let's say if i type ankit now again okay, we will try to type david and david would not be present over here so this way you can create a people picker of your own and it will start working this is very simple but very useful let's see few more important things now let me clear this fields over here if i wanted to clear them i can clear them and you will see the this placeholder text is find item we can change this as well if you go to the property over here input text placeholder and you can say search for user or search user i would say search user you can do that as well now I would like to cover few more points as well before we close this video. If I select this, there is this item property where we have written our formula. Now let me first type some name. I'll type test user. Okay. Now it is giving us some certain options. Now if I go over here and if I select it, you could see all the properties which uh, it is returning. Now out of these columns, we have selected display name and the mail as our fields and based on that uh, uh, display name and mail it will do the search so if you want you can do your search or you can uh, you know showcase this property called job title id given name nickname office location department so it is a user principal name it is returning us n number of properties so based on your requirement you can use this table another thing is i have marked this field is search term required as false now let's see what is the meaning of this now when i'm removing this any of the text when such text is not there and i'm clicking on it what i can see i can see certain values present over here now let me mark it as true is search term required i'll say true okay now i'll go and click on it no result will come until unless i will provide the search term no result it will display the moment i uh, provided the search text i can select for a user or I, it will give me the result again if i'll click over here nothing will come so based on your requirement you can mark it as is system required as true or false there is another property related to this uh, people picker what if you wanted to have a single select people picker so in the property section you will see this property called allow multiple selection you can turn this off so the moment you will turn it off you would see we will be able to select only single user let's say if i try for test user test user 06 or 1 so it will replace the existing one this is a single selection people picker and the moment i'll enable this property it will become the multi-select people picker so guys that's it for today's video if you like this video please like and share the video and subscribe to the channel to get notification for our upcoming videos till our next video much love keep learning thank you